Welcome to the pull-out pantry build. This is by far one of my favorite aspects of the kitchen. We are able to store so many items with such a small space and everything is easily accessible. I would highly recommend a pull-out pantry for any kitchen. The whole pantry, I built it from three quarter inch oak plywood. And as you see here, once I have my front and back panels cut, I lay them next to one another to router out a slot just large enough to accept the shelves, making it seamless. This method also ensures the shelves are even with one another when you start assembly. I hope you get something out of this video and please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or what you think about this pullout pantry. pull out the undermount hinges actually go in real easy um, on the next one I'll show you how I installed them this is the first time I've ever used them so I kind of don't want to screw them up on video it pulls out it's a little wobbly you can you see it so what I'm gonna do is up top I'm gonna add a, a slide a 24 inch full extension slide and that will strengthen it up. So there'll be two side by side. These are full extension. See that? Soft close. This is the hardware that comes with the Blum undermount sinks or undermount sinks. Undermount cabinet drawers. One side as an R for right. And I don't think this side has anything. Yeah, just one side has an R. But they go on just like that. I'm gonna grab some screws. And that's it. They do have adjustments in here. Whenever you get them in, adjust them left to right. But it's easy as that. So these clips attach um, to the slides and they're in the front of, so this is the front of the box. This is the back of the box. We have to notch out 
the back of the cabinet so the slides sit flush with the bottom. So we have to notch these out. Now I'm taking two inches. I know there's a specific measurement you need to take, but I'm just doing two. Should be more than enough. Again, <clears throat> just like these, I'm cutting my uh, cabinet door side to two and an eighth. All right, so my measurements are, I'm doing 88 inch cabinet doors and that's your height. This is going to be for the two pantry pullouts. I'm going to cut both of these doors at the same time to make sure they're all exactly the same height. So these are going to be my tops and bottoms. I cut the groove in for the quarter inch plywood. Nothing on the bottom. These that I cut both sides are going to be my middles. So I'm going to have two um, pieces of plywood, quarter inch plywood on the top and on the bottom. So this is your top and this is the one that's going to slide into the bottom. And you'll see once I uh, fit this together how it works. I love to cut, I like to cut all the slots first. That way I know this blade is set the same for all my cuts. So I'm gonna cut the long pieces next. these hinges is these points right here we have to drill holes in the back of the box to fit those So we're going to put the face on our pull-out pantry. I've already got one done. Sorry about the mess, we're moving in here. For this, this is pine. It's one by twos. Uh, you saw me uh, get these down to, I believe it's nine sixteenths to fit into the pantry. So I'll plane those down. For the actual stain I used, I did a pre-stain, I did a color wash, which is a white wash, and then I polyed over that. So if you can see, it turned out white, a little white, and then the uh, maple plywood in the middle is a little brown.
brown, maybe a little yellowish from the poly. But I wanted this to be a little lighter. How I attached it is I did the Craig jig, pocket holes around. You won't see this side and you won't see this side either. You see the pocket holes I did. I really did a lot on this one. I didn't need that many. So some of those I don't have screws in. And I'll show you the one I'm working on now. So the one I'm working on now, I got one in the middle, top and bottom. And then if you see my pencil marks, which indicates a pocket, pocket hole, I have them offset. So there, here, and there, here. So that will give it even balance to uh, make sure it sits right. I'm also gonna be gluing them. Tight bond is used, it's, it's the only wood glue I use and I love it and this is extremely strong. Um, I am gonna be screwing them in with the uh, pocket holes, which is gonna hold it, but that tight bond it makes a really good connection with the wood to wood. And it, you you can't even pull them apart. You'll need a crowbar or something to break these things apart. But let's go ahead and get this, this face on. Entry against the wall, we decided to do a solid back with quarter inch plywood and use the same stencil we used on our cabinet pantry beside the refrigerator. We got these stencils online and they actually work very well and it looks great against the stained wood. Let me know down below what you think and if you would have done something different. 